Okay, so <clears throat> this is a brief guide on how to open and edit um, Word and Excel files on a Chromebook. So I'm um, just going to turn on um, screen sharing. Just minimize that. Okay, so this is really all there is to it. You need to, first of all, be running Chrome OS version 30 or higher. And most of the school Chromebooks will update to this version by now. If not, just open Chrome and uh, click on Settings, as I'm doing now, and click on Help, and check that this reads here at least 30. I'm on version 31 on here. So, all you have to do is open the file manager, which I've got pinned to the bar at the bottom, this one called Files. If you can't find it there, click on the launcher, which may be over here for you, depending on which version you're running, and just type in Files, and it will appear. And this is the file browser, which is the equivalent of sort of Windows Explorer. Um, I just um, open up my Google Drive and we're going to open a Word document directly from uh, the drive. So you don't do this from um, the online Google Drive, you do it directly from um, the, uh, the file manager. So I've got a lot of stuff in here, so I'm going to demonstrate this with a file that's in DV folder and uh, one with lots of tables in it. So I'm going to go into Expeditions there, um, and let's have a look at um, this one here called Expedition Route Card Master, which is an expedition route planning form that students have to fill in. So all I have to do to open that is double click on it, and a browsing web will open, and Quick Office will open up, and there we've got a typically complicated looking um, Word table, which I can I can type into, and um, I can do whatever I want to it. And because it's a Word file, you do have to save it. So you can click on the Save button, that will overwrite the existing file, or you can go to File, Save As, and save it as whatever file you want anywhere in your Google Drive. Okay. And that's really all there is to it. There is a number of formatting options, not as many as you would have in Word. And this is really for editing um, Office documents, not creating them. So if somebody sends you one and you want to edit it or you want to add things to it or you need to create something as a Word file because it's going to an external organization, perhaps this is a very useful tool. I'll just demonstrate this with one more form. Um, Let's have a look at the uh, risk assessment form. You can see this is um, quite a big, long table. So what you'll find is that sometimes the formatting goes a little bit squiffy, and sometimes you'll have to get rid of a few spaces to make it work, but that's another example. You can do this with Excel files as well. And if I go back to my drive and look in here, I should be able to find um, a few Excel files, perhaps. Um, OK, so we'll take this one. These are very old usernames and passwords, which have no longer any relevance. So. There for our old learning platform. So this will load, and you can see that we've got some old students there. I can scroll backwards from front, and I'll go down here and pick a cell. I can type into that cell, and I can type formulas into the cells as well. Click on Save as, just as you would in, um, in Excel. So that's about it, really.
and that's all there is to it. Just make sure you're on version 30 at least. I'm not sure whether you get, there might be one issue on version 30, and that is you, sometimes you need to have a browser window open first before it will work. Um, it's no longer the case on this version. Just another example of a letter. Something to do with a, something we don't use anymore. So, there you go. Just a couple of uh, demonstrations on how to do it.